Right, News Talks tech correspondent Jess Kelly is with us. Jess, good morning to you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? When is Black Friday? This Friday, the 26th. Okay, so we're only two days away. Right. Yeah, but it starts like two weeks ago. This is the annoying thing and it's the great thing. So what some shops do is they will start it from pretty much the start of November and drag it out. And then other retailers either will start pushing out private mailing list deals from Monday of this week that will expire on Monday of next week because Monday of next week is Cyber Monday. So we now have two ridiculous tech consumer heavy sale days. And um, if you are going to buy stuff, you should probably have been able to get the right price on it by now. Or is there still some actual proper bargains to be had either on Friday or Monday? There will be extra flash sales on Friday and Monday. So what I would say to people is find what you're looking for now and shop around and see what the deals are. Like certain big retailers like Amazon, I know will go heavy on Friday. They will push these, um, I think it's like 15 minute deals. They're called lightning deals. So for smaller things, if you need a new cable for your phone or stuff like that, you may get like some for dirt cheap on Friday or Monday. But The next issue then is stock because a lot of websites are showing sales, they're showing really good prices, but then they can't get the stock because of the chip shortage. So it's, look, I think if you find a deal and if it's cheaper than you were expecting and it's not cheaper somewhere else, go first. That would be my advice. Okay. Um, One last thing about, you you mentioned Amazon there. Is everybody shopping on amazon.de or .es now rather than shopping on .co.uk because of the uh, impact of Brexit? I'm still going .co.uk. You know, I'm not using it as much as I was previously. Um, I know that a lot of people are going .de. I'm not 100% sure why. Like, I think if you read the terms and conditions of Amazon, if you're buying something for under 150 euro, you will see the price, including VAT, including all the bits and pieces that you need to know on the finished page. So when you check out, if it's over 150 euro, that's where you need to pay a little bit more attention, but just make sure that you read the terms and conditions. The big issue that we're going to face, regardless of whether you're ordering .co.uk, .de or wherever it is, is getting into the country. The postal service, the delivery companies, all of those companies will struggle over the coming weeks. Personally speaking, as I said, I've been using .co.uk and haven't been strung at all by it. Okay. One of the big things that you wanted to talk to us about was the... um the, this is an amazing bargain, buy it now. I'm a sucker for this. In, in our local shop, they'll put like, a, oh, this is only three ninety nine. I'm like, oh, that's an amazing price. Mm. Or is it? Was it always? Was it normally like two ninety nine? And now that you've got like that flashy thing in front of me, I'm like, they must have this bargain. And it turns mm-hmm. out that's the same with like your your big ticket TVs that um, this is an amazing price. It's only eight ninety nine. You're like, it was seven ninety nine last week. So there's absolutely mountains of that going on. And I love shopping. I love buying, particularly tech. I think it's my favorite thing to do. But, you know, the the shops are pretty smart about it. Remember that these are businesses. There are some old stock that will go for quite cheap. But a lot of the websites now will show the dates that a price was set. So, for example, if you go on to any of the big Irish retailers this morning, if you find a product that you want, you will see that it has been at that current price for X to Y. Now, some skeptics out there will say that they will raise the price for October and then drop it in time for Black Friday. That could happen, but you know, I think you need to be wise about it. The other thing I would say, and I've spent a lot of time over the last few weeks looking at the best deals and so on, some retailers are saying that they have the best deal, but then you go to the next retailer and then you find the same thing, the exact same product, same color, everything for 30 quid cheaper. So don't get suckered in by those flashy signs, the black tags, the red tags, whatever. Make sure you shop around. And by shopping around, I do literally mean going to three or four different retailers or three or four different websites, because you will, I promise you, you will notice a disparity. And it's not the case that one shop is always cheaper than another. That's not how it works. So it does require legwork, but you can get some good deals. Okay, give us some give us some good deals that are out there at the moment then, Jess, what are you looking at? Okay, so we always, at this time of year, on OTBAM, we talk about a wearable. Um, I'm wearing an Apple Watch at the moment, but I think my favourite wearable of the last 12 months is the Huawei Watch Fit New. So Huawei have taken a bit of a battering in terms of their phones because they had that fallout with Google, uh, but their accessories are excellent. This looks 
the nicest I think of all of the wearables. It's normally 99 euro and it's now 79 euro. And just to flag, because it's made by Huawei, that doesn't mean it just works with Huawei phones. You can get it to work with any device, whether it is Apple or Android. Uh, so that is 79 quid now. Okay, so do all the wearables do fairly much the same thing at this point? Pretty much, you know, you do get some extra bells and whistles on the more expensive ones. Um, I remember last year we were talking about the Fitbit Sense. That is the Fitbit that's around 350 quid and it does have medical grade information. So it is pretty uh, spectacular. But for most people, what they want is a step counter, exercise tracker, sleep tracker, and then to be able to get some of your messages and stuff like that. And for the most part, they will all do that. Um, but as I said, having tested about 50 of them in the last 12 months, this one is definitely my favourite. Okay. What have you got? What's yours? I'm Garmin. I'm a Garmin for life guy. Uh, until I see the price of this is only 79.99 uh, this week, and then I might actually be a, a Huawei for life guy. Uh, Garmin is good. I thought you were an Apple fanboy, though, and I thought you you like buy anything with an Apple on it. I mean, people uh, looking on my my uh, spot that for my laptop. I've gone iPhone this year. Do do I complete? I've got an iPad. I've got an, uh, an Apple TV. <laughs> do, I, do I go? Do I do I go full Apple? Um, the Apple TV can be pre-installed now on all TVs. Yeah, uh, but I mean, uh, we got one for free with with Air Broadband, so okay, and um, that's that's why I have it. Uh, the Apple, okay. the iPad came for free with a Sunday Times subscription, so I got like I just take the free shit. I I moved to iPhone this year. I've got to say, I think Android's still it's, better. It's completely um, insignificant the difference, especially the price you're paying for. Well, the the battery is better on the on the iPhone for sure. No, I, it's not. Oh, Android, definitely. confirm this for me, Jess. Android better than uh, iPhone, obviously. I I still prefer Android to iPhone. Now I I'm still using an iPhone 13 myself, but. I do prefer Android. I prefer you can customize it. I think the battery on a lot of them is actually better than iPhone. Um, but the camera on the iPhone is one of the best out there for sure. That's pretty class to be fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. TVs, right. Uh, yeah. the, the best thing I did during lockdown was buy the biggest TV I could find. For the first three or four months, you're kind of sitting there and the head's blown off you. But now it's like it's just a normal part of life. And mm -hmm. uh, buy the biggest TV because it's the thing you spend the most time with not your family, it's your TV. As we all know, as Homer Simpson mm -hmm. says, it's the most important thing in your life. Get whatever you can. Yeah. What recommendation have you got for us? Yeah, I completely echo everything you've just said there. And the other thing I would say to add to that is, if you think you only have space for a 50 inch TV, go 55, go bigger, because the big borders around the TV don't exist anymore. It's like a super thin bezel. So get your measuring tape out, measure corner to corner, and then go a little bit bigger. That would be my bad advice. But the recommendation for today is the Samsung Q60A. It's a 4K Ultra HD HDR QLED TV. All that means is it looks class. The QLED screens are stunning, 55 inch, so it is nice and big. 4K content looks great on it. The one thing I would say if you are buying a 4K TV is that some streaming services like Netflix, for example, will make you pay for the higher tier of subscription to get 4K content. So just don't be disheartened if you get your 4K TV and everything kind of looks the same. Yeah. You may have to pay extra for that. That's how they get you. Uh, but this TV, it was 1,199 and it's now 739. I have a Samsung TV here in my living room and I absolutely love it. I think the interface is the easiest and most intuitive of all the TVs. Um, so I think that is a pretty good price for that. Yeah, and in fairness to the the, the TVs, because you you uh, recommended against getting um, the or sorry, you preferred the Samsung to the LG. LG have improved; they 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 do mm -hmm. constantly update. So uh, if you do get stuck with one that isn't currently great, don't worry; they are making them better. Mm. So Samsung gave me yeah. a lend of a massive TV for the last World Cup, and I, I'm still squinting now that I look at my current TV. It's like, what is this a football match for ants? Or like whenever they turn it on. It's oh, and issues come and get me, please. A Samsung TV. Samsung, I'm available once again for Qatar 2020. Or so you're just begging for an Apple Watch there a second ago. You need to pick a side, though, and pick a side, and then the free stuff will come flowing. I am a happens. listen. I'm I'm just a, I, I like balance, and I'm a, I'm a floating voter when it comes to the Samsung versus Apple. So I will I will happily step in both camps. He's uh, he's curious. <laughs> our own. Right. Uh, Google Nest Audio is next. 
Yeah, so this is the new name for Google Home, the, the Google Smart Assistant. I am a Google Home Home person. Um, so I have my Google Nest Audio, which is the big speaker. Um, at the moment, you can get them for 80 quid. They're usually 100, so that is a good deal. The reason I go with Google is because everything else in my house is Google. We have the Google Chromecast in the TV. We have the Philips Hue lights. So everything is connected, and it means then that I can give orders to my Google Nest Audio, and it will do it but also the sound quality is class. So if you just want it as a speaker and you know, to check the time or ask if it's raining outside so you don't have to look out the window, that is completely fine. But again, it's a very, very impressive device and that could be like the nucleus of your smart home. So if you know somebody who's interested in building a smart home, the Google Nest Audio is a really good starting point. Okay, and the audio sounds good? It's really good, yeah. Like now, it's not quite as good as the Apple HomePod. Owen will be delighted to hear. I have the Apple HomePod there. It's a little white thing, so it's very, very small. It's slightly bigger than a tennis ball, um, and the sound quality from the Apple HomePod Mini is incredible. Uh, but like we're kind of splitting hairs over nothing here. Do you know what I mean? The yeah. sound quality from the Nest is still excellent. Okay, all right. The next is the Kindle, right? And yeah, uh, there are multiple Kindles. Um, I've I was on a flight recently and was using the Kindle on my phone. I was like, actually, I want a Kindle now. I've kind of, I had one originally, it broke and I never got another one. And now I want one again. It's kind of got to that point where um, I'm going to do some business with Jeff Bezos. Is there some way of getting a Kindle without doing business with Jeff Bezos? I don't know. Um, but, no, no. It, it's there kind isn't. Of, it's his no, no. <laughs> you could buy another brand that isn't as good. That's the um, thing. They aren't as good, are they? No, and I've tried loads of them. Again, there's a Kobo brand, I think it's called. I had it, it was fine, like it did the job, but I don't mind using an Amazon product when it is as useful to me as the Kindle is. So I have all three Kindles. I have the basic one, I have the paper white one, and then I have the Oasis, which is the Notions one. And that's the bigger screen and it has buttons on the side. Unless you're a big reader, you probably don't need it. I go for the paper white. The paper white is the one in the middle that has the slightly bigger screen. So I think it's a 6.7 inch screen. And um, so the text kind of, it just feels more like a book in my opinion, but there are good deals on the basic model at the moment. And um, so they're normally 79.99 and down to 59.99. So if you're not sure if you're going to use it, if you just want, if you like the idea of it, but you're not sure that you're going to commit to it, I would go with the basic one and then you can of course upgrade as time goes by and um, but what i would say is that you do need to engage them with the kindle ebook store thing uh, to get your books but it does also pair up with the audible app which i use so sometimes you can opt to download the audiobook and the physical book as well when you're making a purchase which is quite nice yeah and you can send pdfs to it as well so it it, it they mm -hmm. are useful good bits of kit so 60 quid for the basic one is a good price at the moment and, and um, they are available. The earbuds, right? Um, you know, you've, you've had some incidents with earbuds in the past. You've got... Why do you bring this up every year? Like, it's, it's three years ago now. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so mean. The whole of um, the Stevens Green Shopping Centre was closed so that uh, Jess could recover her earbuds, which she had already bought a replacement for. Anyway, we don't need to go back into it. No need to bring it up, as no. you say, Jess. But there are good ones at the moment and there's good offers on them. Yeah, so it's the, the, the latest iteration of the ones that I lost and caused havoc over. Uh, they are brilliant. They are the uh, Samsung Galaxy Buds 2. So the Buds range have been around for quite a while. We've spoken about all the previous iterations over the years. Um, the key difference with these ones, which is the newest ones, is that they're just more comfortable. So I'm wearing the Pro version at the moment. And while they're grand, they, I'm constantly afraid that they're going to fall out of my ear. That hasn't happened at all with the Buds 2. They are just incredibly comfortable. The battery life is better. The sound quality is amazing, not just for listening to music, but also if you're working from home, which I am at the moment, to be able to take calls um, and video calls and stuff like that through them, it's just a bit of a game changer. They're usually quite expensive. They're usually around between 179 and 159, depending on where you go, but they're available at the moment for 120 quid. Okay, so that is a proper reduction as well. And uh, so long as you don't lose them, they are a really good bit of kits. Didn't you, didn't yeah. you hear the news? Uh, wired headphones are back in. Oh yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're the new the new fashion statement. So um, like vinyl, just just like vinyl, vinyl. And if you're on the move and you you can't listen to your vinyl or can't bring it with you, then uh, you can put in a good old pair of wired headphones and uh, you're you're trendy again. You're putting them into your oh sorry you can't put them into your iPhone. No, I have the I have the jack. Yeah. Oh, 
God. An extra little bit of kit that you had to buy as well as the Best earphones. purchase I've ever made. Buy, buy for your family this year. Okay, folks. and so why, why are you hot for your wired earphones? That, I, don't like, know. I, I, I wear a, a wired earphones every so often. I see People Magazine said uh, trendy people wear wired earphones every so often. So <laughs> that's just the connection is okay, all I'm okay. saying. And as a, as a regular <laughs> jogger, and you know, I know you like to, you're physically active. You, you, you so garden. active. Your, your garden is, so is very manicured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, can, you can do that with your wires. Can you? Oh, no, you can't. You can Okay, you can't. Uh, the next one is a Philips air dryer, <laughs> air fryer. Air fryer, yeah. <laughs> you were close, but not quite. Uh, so this is a device that is a, like probably the most used device in my home. Uh, so I can't cook, I can't drive, I'm pretty crap at being an adult, but I can throw stuff in the air fryer. And the idea is that there are two dials on it, one for the temperature, one for the time. Um, so you can do anything from making a fry up to a full chicken dinner. You just throw it in and because it uses the natural oils of the food, you don't need to cook with oil. So it's healthy and it's easy. And it is on sale at the moment for 117 euro. It's normally 180. So again, that is a good bargain. Where's that? Everywhere. Where? Yeah. As in what shop? Yeah. Are oh, you... I was like in my house. Do you want a tour of my house? Um, <laughs> it's, like it's in the kitchen, Jer. It's a like kitchen device. No, um, you can get it for 117 euro in Harvey Norman right now. Okay, okay. Because... Um... We're uh, we're going to be moving house soon to a place with no proper kitchen, and I'm going to have to get a lot of these type of things. That you don't have an air fryer. I don't have an air yeah, fryer. That's a life changer. Oh, is it? A genuine life changer. Oh, you're okay. All the millennials are everything like you just just toss it in there, toss everything in there, and uh, it just cooks healthily. Like I mean, anything from your freezer, just take it out of the box and fire it into the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> that's healthy. That's gourmand shit you're talking there. Absolutely. Anything from your freezer. Okay. Any, anything you want. Okay. Well, give me examples. Waffles, chicken dippers. Uh, you can do rashers in an air fryer. Okay. All very healthy. <laughs> chicken, dip, chip, chicken dippers may now contain actual chicken. Vegan chicken dippers actually as good as the, the Okay. Original, yeah. Okay. That's, just, that's also a life hack for anybody out there. Okay. Okay. So an air fryer, it should be on everybody's um, uh, Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday list. And the Samsung Watch 4, This is we're going to talk about this as well, are we? Yeah, just briefly, because this is another good wearable. So if you aren't into the Huawei watch, if you want something that is a step up and looks more like a normal watch, the Samsung Watch 4 is excellent. It's probably the closest Android watch to an Apple watch. It's normally 279, but the Black Friday price is 219. Um, what I would say is that it's probably made for a bigger wrist. When I had it for review, I kind of felt like it was taking up the whole of my wrist, which I didn't like. Um, so just keep that in mind if you have a smaller wrist. Okay, so uh, for big people, 219 for the Samsung Watch 4, that's a good reduction. That's the level of reduction that you can get if you shop around for most stuff over the next couple of, well, over this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Jess, good stuff. Anything else you want to tell us? No, that's kind of it. I've nothing else. Plug your show at the weekend. Oh, yeah, I've got a show. It's called Tech Talk, and you should listen to it now. It's on available as a podcast on Fridays at noon or Saturday at 5 p.m. And I have a YouTube show called Tech Bites. If you head over to the News Talk YouTube channel, you can find uh, five episodes there talking through some of the best devices of the year. Excellent. Jess, good stuff. Great to have you with us again. Thanks a million. Happy Black Thank Friday you. to you. Thanks. Do you also love shopping? No, I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Even buying nonsense that you don't really, you know, that little dopamine hit that you get when you go, ah, oh, I bought something and then it arrives three weeks later and it sits in the box yeah. for I like, five months afterwards. I like buying stuff like that for myself. Like I like buying books, books. and they're arriving mostly just for me or buying stuff and it's for me. I don't like buying stuff for other people. Okay. Just I don't get the kick that other people get. It's like just a hassle. All right. OTBAM, live with Gillette, proud sponsors of November. Gentlemen, let's mo.